Even though the weather has been quiet today, it is severe weather week here on CBS 3, and we're starting the week off by talking about tornadoes. Now, one thing we meteorologists look at when we're looking at Doppler radar is a bow echo. You may have heard me use this term before. It's kind of that comma shape you see there, that comma shape showing those winds bowing out. And when you see that, it is an indication that severe winds are happening. So let's talk a little bit about what a bow echo actually is. A bow echo, the term was actually coined back in the 1970s by Dr. Fujita. It was for, it's formed within an ongoing squall line. Along that line, some upper level winds are stronger than others, and those strongest winds surge forward at an angle that creates that bow shape. So that bow is an indication of where the strongest upper level winds are. And we sometimes see spin up tornadoes on the northern edge of the bow. So what you have are two opposing areas of circulation to the north and to the south. The northern circulation strengthens over the lifespan of the storm. And right there where we've circled, that's what we call the northern bookend vortex. That's where tornadoes spin up. It's kind of like the head of the comma. That's where you see the strongest rotation and the strongest circulation. So if you're looking at a radar picture like that and you see that comma shape, the area that has the head of the comma, that's your bookend vortex. That's where tornadoes may spin up. So that's just a little insight into what we look at as meteorologists when trying to forecast where tornadoes may hit in a squall line.